out of my voice is all over the place. Hello everyone and welcome to Hypermind Modded Server, the Resonant Rise server. Uh, now, I'd say it's been a while but I never actually recorded on the server anyway so I never got around to it. I didn't reach a point where I really felt like recording. Ooh, lots of lily pads. Easy to strand it. Um, yeah, this is the Resonant Rise server. I have done a bit of work on it but I never felt like really recording it, it was sort of during that period where I was just playing the game for fun rather than for recording and that helped me get out of my sort of bind a lot. I took a break from it and the pack went out, of, well my pack went out of date and there was no update pack for it. Uh, so now now I've got an updated pack so I'm able to play again and there is a floating lever. Floating lever of floatiness. Ah, uh, this is because we had growth craft removed from the pack when we updated, and growth craft was here, so that's why that's not working. Which is the same. Growth craft had some nice stuff in it, but here we are um, at spawn for the well, this well, not true spawn, but our sort of base location, as you will say. And this is where everyone sort sort of started out from. We've all gone off from there uh, to do our own things. We got some foom craft nodes, and it's. I love these player sensors. Uh, so we got uh, loads of stuff in here, like we got the smeltery. Uh, we have like portals all over the place. Uh, processing for stuff. A free cheat chest. Free cheat repair using a what is that? What called? A E no project E. That's the one. Using project E. What is that stuff? interesting. I've been using Project E a lot which you may be able to tell if you recognize some of the stuff which we'll go into in a bit. So this is um just what is this stuff? This is new. We used to have windmills here. It's a teleporter. I don't have access to it though so I don't know where it goes. Right. But yeah this is um the Swan Castle where everyone sort of started out from and I originally went off this way See a lovely house over there. Wait, is that? Oh, that's one of the spawning one. There's Woolies over there, Dolan's over there. S that's the um, free lava tank house where you can just get one of these ender tanks. And I think it supplies infinite lava. What is Woolly Burn? I do not actually know what that is. I'm going to leave that alone. I don't know what that is. This is where I was building my base in this uh, meteor crater. This is where I started out. So we're going to. Down. Oh, this seems loud. I need a sound muffler. So this is my base. Pretty good, isn't it? Got some sky stone. And yeah, that's it. That's my base. Look. There's my sign. Benito's pit of doom. Working progress. So yeah, nothing to see here. Nothing to see here. Yeah, I made a big old pit. So. I made a giant pit with the sort of intention for it to be a futuristic thing of thinginess. So we've got all my A ME stuff in here. This works fine. We basically all this one on this side is for crafting the uh different cells uh, circuits you can get. So you can see I've got all the things in there and I can request them. So that's all good. We've got loads of stuff saved up in here. Loads of stuff, loads of wood, loads of stone. It's just where I throw all my junk, really. So that is all good. You know, we've got loads of things we can craft in here, so everything is accessible. Uh, back here, I have. There was a wall here. Where'd the wall go? <laughs> That's confusing. Uh, I've got a tree farm. Is it running? That is the question. Is it running? It should be. Believe that. Why is there all these world holes? That's just confusing. Okay, leave that alone because I'm sure that is working. Uh, yes, yeah, so this is just my ME system for storage and everything. We do have a lower level where. Whoa! Okay, I don't remember that hole being there. Let's get some cobblestone. That is a uh, kind of big, kind of big. Give me a stack of that. That wind is quite annoying. Right, so 
let's fill that in because I don't actually know where that's gone. Right. Get this a bit safer. Oh, I mean, obviously, I dug that hole out. It's a bit big to be a random world hole, but this floor was all here. So this is my controller, you know, this is where all my channels are running out from. i got some going up there, some off here. Uh, we've got... Oh yeah, it's down there now. I was about to say, there's one that's about to go down, so... Yeah, this is just some more crafting stuff. This is for, like, sand, I think? Oh no, this is for auto-sorting my ore for fruit. So, that's good. And over here we have our tinkerer stuff, sort of, you know, basic things here. Smeltery with all the stuff here, access to the terminal in case we need it. Around here we have uh, started, oh thank god, that's gone. We got a uh, foam craft, which I've started up, but I didn't actually get too far in it this pack. Uh, and then we have my energy collector, making me red matter, which this actually filled up during my way off server, so that's why this is so much energy in it. And I got a full Klein star there, another nearly full Klein star there. And yeah, they're awesome, and I can fit red matter in there just because I can. So, what I'm going to, for people who don't know what uh, Project E is, it's like a rehash or revamp of, um, what's it called? Ooh, I should make one of those. Of a uh, project of applied, no, equivalent exchange, that's the one. So, what this kind star does, it's taking energy in from this energy collector over here and just filled it up so that's what that one's doing at the moment it's filling up and that energy i then use to power these two things uh swift roof's rending gear which is what allows me to fly and a life stone which is it feeds me basically it feeds me and can actually heal me as well mainly using it for the eating so i don't have to carry food on me so that's very nice and then i've got this really good red matter armor as well which I can actually upgrade to include things like um, healing and that but I don't want to do that in case that I do some, it does some weird stuff basically like I don't want to accidentally make lava and things like that so that's why I haven't upgraded this so okay that's all good um, I've obviously got my pickaxe and katar I'm actually going to make the morning star because that's going to be cool. So the morning star is made of a pick, a shovel, and a hammer. So let's make a hammer. Except I've just got loads of this stuff. Uh, and a hammer. Now I just need the shovel. So yeah, you can see I've got a lot of resources now. So I am sort of set. That's the wrong one. Morning star. That's uh, the pick, the hammer. So that should just break things for me. What modes has it got? Tool shot, wide shot, long shot, standard. Okay, easy enough. Right. So that is the first few layers. Oh yeah, uh, there was another layer here. I was going to work on also potion brewing, but it, it's a bit tricky. <laughs> I can get things to go in, just not in the right order. So we'll, I've left that alone for now and the fluid is a bit funky as well so that's been left alone I've sort of put that one on the back burner so let's head down there's some clouds so people don't take full damage when they land and then we got some arcane levitators now this was going to be a big project as you can see we've got some bits scattered around here I had to start with a witchery farm and things like that and uh, start of a building ooh I'm in a hole what is with these world holes? There must have been a block that was removed or something. But you can see where I started building down here. Uh, we have a portal over here which we're going to use in a minute. And yeah, so this is just where I've been mining. And if we can switch the underground map, there you go. You can see I've done a lot of mining to find all the resources I needed to make my ME system and uh, AE system. But now I've got them, I've got everything basically. Right, so now we can head over to here use this. I've only got a few things programmed into mine at the moment, but everyone else does have portals ready to go. So we're going to go to Dark Woods. 
is where I'm going to do my building. So over here, all I've got so far is a transmutation table, so I can just request the stuff that I need. Uh, we have another energy collector making red matter blocks, and that's so I just have materials to... I should terminate that. That's just so I have materials to burn in my transmutation table. Now, I've got a magnum torch up here, so I'm not too worried about mobs. Uh, but you can see it's a nice dark... Uh, what's it called? Ominous woods. Ominous woods. And I'm going to build in here. Now, it, if we bring up the map, you can see it's a nice... Hey, I'm near that! didn't even realise. I'm not that far from base either. So that like, is spawn over there. You can see where all the people lit up things. It's quite cool. Um, that's all we've got there. Yeah, that, that way, that way. So we'll get out of the woods. And it should. There it is. The battleship cruiser someone's built. That's awesome. I'm right, just going to have a peek at that. That's cool that we're doing it that close to that. I didn't realise. I hope that's okay, actually. But yeah, you can see this village. Now you can see it where you don't have the ominous, creepy thing. We're going to tear that down. It's just being used as a base to start with for now. And uh, as you can see, I've started flattening out. There was a building there that's already gone. And what I'm sort of planning to build is finally do a futuristic style build. So what I did was I came over here and we I added in a load of the chisel blocks there we go I've added all the basic chisel blocks to this so we could search for a factory block you know um, I don't think searching for chisel will do it no uh, future futuristic block you know we got all those in there all the basic ones because the uh, there we go the, 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 look, this one has an EMC value which if equivalent is change value and so do these but you know they all do. But it's easier for me to just request one, say, factory block and then just change it when I need it rather than me having to look through all the ones I need straight off the bat. So what I need to do is I need to set up a few things here. I want to set up a new ME system uh, and I might do that underground or I might build a building for it first. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to make a cutaway here, go get some materials and flat light, get a nice area I want to work in, and we will start with some building. Back in a second. Alright guys, if it wasn't for the fat I'm there we go, my frame rate's, no, there we go. You can see I've started making the sort of base shape for where our first building is going to be, and you can see it's going to be quite big. This is just the entrance, so we're going to go quite a ways back with this, probably, probably to the beach. It might actually be nice to have it actually come into the beach because you can actually see what's going on out there. So if I make the actual storage in the beach area, we can actually see what we're doing. But yeah, this is what we're going to do uh, to start with. Now, I've got some blocks on me. I've got these nice Italian. I think this is going to look really cool, futuristic, if we stick all that in there. That blends well. What about the corners? Okay, sweet. It does actually blend properly. I was a bit worried with the slopes compared to the compared to the actual solid blocks that it wouldn't blend well so yeah that's got a good look that's going to be dark futuristic I managed to clear out exactly the right amount of area to fit this in like right on the edge right on the edge there so we're going to fill this side in with this tyranol oops there we go hey give me that back yeah, there we go. Then we're just gonna do the sides out of it as well. Okay, but with the middle, I'm gonna mix it up a bit, and that's what I got this never rack for. We're going to shift that along. We are also going to turn my music way down. There we go. Now, what I want to do is just put strips of this red. Whoops. Whoa, a bit powerful there. Right, let's get the uh, things back on the bar. And that's with it on low power. Strips of this red. Now, if anyone can figure out the build theme I'm going off of already, that is very impressive. Well done to you. If not, I will explain my build in another episode of the theme we're going with. Let's get all that in there. 
Now I don't know if this is going to be a bit too much black. That's why I've got the red. And, oh, got to be careful. We don't want to break the carpenter's blocks. There we go. So slide these into the corners. Make sure they work. They're a bit funny on this corner, but that's that's livable. I just like how this gives us the chance to have a sloped design. Now, what I also want to do is get some spikes coming out of these things. So, I'm going to have a look for the NEI in a second for some spikes. I just want to get all this filled in so we get a good idea what the front's going to look like. Let's do that. That looks quite good. I want to get some runes. Runes. Rune blocks, because I know we've got some, so we've got this vor um They're cool. How do you get those? Obviously there's the blood runes, but they require stuff. So we're going to get some void stone runes in there as well. That will look quite good. Now, is there any spikes? Iron spike might work. That would be the the best one, I think. So we need some swords, some iron... Okay, so basically we need a lot of iron, so iron, give me a load of that. Uh, I'm just going to burn all this stuff because we don't need it for now. Right. So I need, I need some wood actually, because I need to make some swords, wood, there we go. So we need three swords, one, two, three. Uh, we need a block, a block, and then, oh well, what am I missing? Iron, swords, block, don't know, maybe just got to do it manually then. So one, two, three, awesome, ah, we get four for that, nice, so we're going to learn that, so I'm going to need about eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, because my only worry is almost oh, dark now. Eh. Yeah. I'm worried that was going to happen. Ooh. So that doesn't look too bad. But I can't put them on the side. So I'm not too sure how I feel about that. I need a bed. We're going to make a bed real quick so I can skip to daytime. I don't think I've got one in here. So, nope. We've got wool. And we got wood. Yeah, I just need one more, so up and make that. We'll learn the bed. <laughs> it's just it's just easier to have everything to learn. And I know it's a bit cheeky, but when I want to go for a mostly I'm mostly working on doing this season as a build season. I really want to get into building properly this season. Rather than going over all the mods, I want this season to be about the building itself. So these spikes aren't going to work on these side bits. They will work on the top though. So we can use them there. Uh, what if we get a wedge slope? Now, here's where I'm getting it crazy. I'll stick it there for now. And then we've got the carpenters. Which one do I need? I need the hammer. Or the... I'm going to need the hammer. Right. Just have that iron on me? I do not. So give me some iron. That is iron spikes, that is not what I need, I need iron itself. Not there. I need to make this iron hammer, carpenter's hammer. We're going to learn that again. Just because we can, we should. Carpenter's hammer. Okay, so now, if I click through this, will I be able to get... Now that's what I'm thinking about. Or... Let's break it. Let's break it real quick. We're going to... I just remembered. Didn't even need this because I can just do this. Right. If I put one there, I'm going to cycle through the different designs. So the prism slope might work. Okay, so we're going to go through the prism slope. Now if I stick it on there... Yeah, that's the problem. It's not going to stick on there properly. What else have we got? We've got the bleak exterior. It's just the problem that they don't stick fully. What else we got? 
that one wouldn't work. Now then with background. So unfortunately I'm not going to be able to get the spikes coming out of these ones unless I sort of take it out and stick that there. Hmm. What if I take that out and place it with a straight up block? Then we get some Tarion. It looks a bit weird now. I don't know if I like that. But what if we change the Tyrion? Now do I shift right click to get it out? Ooh. Ooh, actually. That might give us some stuff that you can do something with. So instead of the Tyrion, uh, ooh, I'm doing things. There we go. Instead of the Tyrion with it, let's get it back. What if we use the different block? So we're going to put that there. Okay, that's fine. Let me just uh, shove you back over there. What if we used one of those runes that we were saying about earlier? So we get the void. So instead of spikes, I'm searching in the wrong column. Void. Get some void stone. Get our chisel. Boop. And let's go. Do the, is that a green one? Green rune. Green rune would be quite nice. And what if we put that in there? Mm, that quite. That's quite nice how it's sort of indented not actually part of it. Right, let's do the same over here, but we'll do it as, um, we'll leave it as part of the slope and just see how that looks. Whoa, there we go. I'm a bit laggy on the server, so let's just do that and see which I prefer. Oh, they're both quite good, aren't they? Mm. Okay, right, I'll tell you what, I'll leave this up to you which one we want to do with, because I'm going to do one here, and I go one, two, three, and I have one here. So I'll take this one out. Okay, and then I'll get the carpenter's block in there. I will make it into void stone. Shove it back. And I need the Tyrion in there. Okay, and on the other side. The same, we just take out this block, and then this one we just stick that there. There we go. So, let me know which one you guys prefer. I'm kind of leaning towards this one, but let me know. I'll do the spikes along the top of the building rather than the front, then just because it's a bit impractical. And again, we're gonna take out these two real quick. Come on, break. There we go. And we'll do one slope with that, and one full block. Pushed in with that and Tyrion just on the inside. Hmm. Why do I get ideas when I'm trying to finish up an episode? Always when I'm trying to finish up the episode, right? I need that and I don't need all this. Right, let's get rid of those ninja stars, I don't need them for now. Right, do that. Okay? Shove it back, fill it with Tyrion, put the rune on the front. Just from above, I think that looks better. You see, we won't have this cut off. Okay, so if you go for this one, that's how I'll do it with those two. If you, oh, well, on all of them, if you change it. But let me know what you guys think, and I will see you in the next episode where I'll probably have the frame of this building done and we can actually do some work on it then. So, thanks for watching. Feel free to give me any comment and feedback, and I'll see you in the next one. Toodles!